Hey guys, wanted to share with you my experience uh, buying a car. So just recently, uh, the beginning of December, actually December 9th of 2021, I bought a minivan. I really needed a minivan. And I was shopping around, couldn't find a minivan. I guess as everybody knows, uh, there's a shortage of new cars, even of, even of new of used cars as well. Uh, so um, I found a minivan over in Caldwell and um, it was the last one on the lot. Actually, it had just been delivered there the day before, and I was uh, fortunate enough, lucky enough to be there when it, was, when it arrived, and that was exactly the, the car that we were looking for. So what happened was that, if you take a look at a video that I made a few months back, uh, I have a process, I have a method when it comes to purchasing a car, all right? So um, I am a premier member uh, with Bank of America, um, and if anybody, if anybody wants to know like how to do that, you could give me a call and I'll let you know. And these are, and I, one of the reasons why I'm making this video is so you can see the advantage of being a premier member. So I'm a premier member with Bank of America. And, uh, because of that, I get a discount with, um, 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 a financing and an, an auto loan. Okay. So whether it's, I want to buy a new car or I want to refinance a car, all right, I can also purchase a used car. Um, I don't want to get into that, but you know, uh, just want to let you know that I take advantage uh, uh, of the resources of the program that Bank of America has when it comes to uh, purchasing a car again and getting a good rate. Okay, so what I did was uh, when I went to the Toyota there, um, before I went there, uh, this is what I did with my three uh, credit uh, reports, all right, uh, with, my, with my bureaus. I froze TransUnion. I froze Equifax. Why did I do that? So that when I uh, got to the dealership and uh, I um, um, and when I wanted to buy the car, instead of having Toyota uh, run my credit and just check Experian uh, and run it several times, okay, uh, do several hard inquiries, I was going to call the Bank of America uh, and apply for the car. I mean, apply for the loan for the car right then and there. Now. They checked my credit, but I had a um, a, fraud, a fraud inquiry, uh, which is also known as a security inquiry, meaning that um, they need to call me first to verify, to confirm, to approve from me that I was the person who applied for the loan. Now, the individual who helped me out at Toyota while I was on the phone um, and speaking with Bank of America, they were not able to do that. Somebody from another department needed to call me so um, they could confirm with me. However, nobody called me. And um, what happened was that I wasn't able to buy the car that day, but I wanted the car. Why? Because once again, there's a, short, there's a shortage of cars. So what I did was I put, I think it was like a $2,500 or $3,000 deposit so they can hold the car for me. And I told the people over there, I told my, my sales rep over at Toyota that I would you know, have the loan, um, that I will have the auto loan ready no later than tomorrow. I, you know, you, you know, I thought I was, it was going to be, you know, approved right then and there on the phone, but I forgot that I had the security alert. Okay. So what happened was I got in contact with Bank of America, uh, and the person who I needed to speak with or the department I needed to speak with, they weren't available. So, um, Friday went by, Saturday went by, I got a call from Toyota saying, Hey, you need to purchase this car. I mean, they said it nicely, but they were just like, look, we got another 20 people waiting to buy this car, but we're holding it just for you. You know, if anything, we'll return you the money, but we need to get rid of the car. And I said, all right, just give me another day. So then what happened was on Sunday, I wasn't able to get in contact with Bank of America. So I just said, you know what, let me just go to Toyota. Uh, um, actually, before I went over there, I called up the finance guy and I said, look, just uh, I'm going to buy the car. Um, but I need you guys to help me out with the financing because I don't want to lose this opportunity of purchasing the car. So I told them, just run my credit once. Use Toyota Financial, which I already have an account for. Just run it. I know I'll get the auto loan, but I need to get the car. So just run it. So he did that. And it was just one hard inquiry. That's it. All right. And by the way, if you take a look at my other videos, the reason why I put freezes on the other on the other uh, two is because I usually, is that I never you know, go to the dealership and request that they finance it because they're going to run hard inquiries, let's say four times on Equifax, f you know, four, another four times on TransUnion and maybe five times on, on Experian. 
and that's going to stay in your credit for five for for two years. Once again, you can see that in the other video. So what happened was I was able to get the loan. So I remember sitting down with the finance guy, and and he was about to go over the details of the loan. I said, I don't want to know. I just want the car. <laughs> no worries. Now, y'all may be watching this video and think, why would you not want to know what the terms of the loans are? I'll tell you why. I didn't care. I wanted to get the car. I needed to get the car because, once again, there's a shortage, and I didn't want to lose this opportunity. All right, um, and, and and they were giving it to me for a good price as well uh, because of um, what was it? Because uh, it was the, close to the end of the year, and plus I was kind of coming in as a cash. It's not that I was kind of. I was coming in as a cash buyer, so they decreased the price for me just a little bit more. All right, um, they couldn't change the price. You know, the next day, well, actually two days later on Sunday. They, you know, I had already signed the agreement, uh, but once I financed with Toyota, they were just kind of like, uh, you know, I can't change the price on you, even though, you know, you're using Toyota Financial. Uh, anyway, so what happened was uh, I got the car that day, all right, and I uh, received the car. Uh, I got the loan. I didn't, I didn't put a down payment, nothing, not even a penny. So everything that came with the car, so uh, the price of the car, um, you know the, the the fees for the title registration all those other closing costs were all I didn't pay a penny I didn't I didn't pay one dollar for that right and that all came out to forty nine thousand three hundred ninety three dollars uh, by the way it's a minivan amazing uh, only had like 0.5 miles on it it's uh, Sienna I didn't know that minivans with Toyota to Siennas are now also hybrids okay and it's a fantastic car um, we love it so this was what I finance, okay? Every single dollar, okay? And you could do this as well, all right? Uh, now, uh, this is what, the, the rate that they gave to me was 5.85%. I put, I put it over here, because just to remember. So I want to go over how much interest I was going to be paying, all right? And it was a six-year loan. So we're going to go uh, over the mathematics of this, which is really easy. Uh, once again, it is uh, interest equals principal times rate times time, right? So I equals P times R times T, okay? So uh, I want to get the interest. I want to know how much interest I'm going to be paying in the six years, right? So what's the principal, right? $49,393, right? What's the rate? The rate is 5.85%, but if you uh, uh, convert that into a number, it comes out to 0 0.0585 right all right uh, for how many years for six years right times six all right so let's do the math all right so 49 three nine three times 0 0.0585 equals times six years equals seventeen thousand three hundred thirty six dollars and ninety four cents that was the interest I was going to pay for for six years. All right, um, uh, yeah, at, at five point five point eight five percent interest. Uh, this is the total interest payment I was going to make. This doesn't include the balance that I also have to make. Remember, spread out over seventy two months. Okay. Now, why did I not care? All right, when I bought the car. <laughs> okay about what this rate was going to be about what yeah, right here 5.85 percent okay why well, did not care once again number one reason i just wanted to get the car number two reason was this i knew that once i purchased the car i was going to refinance it within a few weeks all right now once again this goes back to being a premier member with bank of america they offer uh, uh amazing auto loan rates for new cars and for refinances okay now it was a little easier for me to get the refinance uh, because I had just purchased a car all right once again this may be another video but if you want to refinance a car that's a little bit older maybe four or five years old just you know and depending on what um, um, what the remaining balance is on that car it may be you know difficult or not to get it right once again just it all depends okay so I knew it was gonna be easy for me because I had just purchased a car I only had, you know, 
uh, a few weeks later, I just had a few hundred miles on the on the on the on the car. So uh, what happened was this past week, I got in contact with Bank of America. All right. Once again, uh, well, what happened was first of all, before I forget, when I reached out to Bank of America that day in Toyota. All right, back on December the ninth, they had run my my credit. All right, so I had one inquiry, which. Uh, I couldn't do anything about it. They ran it, all right? And then Toyota did it two days later, all right? Uh, well, what happened was about a week after I purchased the car, I found out that Bank of America was trying to get in contact with me to uh, authenticate my identity. They weren't able to do it. I, I told them, look, I, you know, if I don't pick up the phone, leave a message, but <laughs> nobody left a message, and they told me that they just don't leave messages, so whatever. So they said that I had needed to reapply again, all right, for now we're refinance, all right? So what happened was I uh, just waited a few weeks. Like it was a little bit crazy at the end of the year, in the beginning of the year as well. Uh, then I was able to refinance. But what I did was I still kept my TransUnion frozen, my Equifax frozen, right? Uh, but uh, for my experience, I lifted the security fraud. Why? Because I don't want to run into the same situation that I did before on December 9th. So uh, December 9th of 2021. So. A few days ago, I got on the phone with Bank of America. I was ready to apply. I went over the whole uh, situation. I said, look, I already have the car. I just bought it. You know, I have the VIN number. I have everything that you need. All right. And what I want to do is I want to finance this $49,393. You know, the same amount that I, uh, that, uh, that, 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 that the car cost me. And, and remember, this includes everything. So once again, I did not pay one dollar out of my pocket to get this to, um, uh, to get this car. All right now, because it was a refinance, all right, my interest rate was going to be a little bit higher. Unfortunately, if it was a brand new purchase, okay, at you know from the lot, you know from the from the auto dealership, my rate probably would have been like a two point five or two point four. But because it was a refinance. And because I'm a premier member, all right, the rate they were giving me was 3.14. In addition to that, they also did run my credit, and it was phenomenal, all right. Um, and so I, I want to show you now the savings that I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna make, all right, I'm gonna have, all right. So once again, let's go to uh, I equals P times R times T, all right. So I'm now financing the same 49,000. Three nine three. Now times what? Three point one four percent, right? I know you may not be able to see it, but once again, we're going to convert this into a number, right? So times zero point zero three one four, and I'm still going to get the same six years. Okay. So remember, I equals P times R times T. I'm trying to find out what the interest rate is, right? I mean, not the interest rate, what the, the total interest amount I'm going to be, I'm going to be paying over seven years okay all right so uh let's do the math right so i'm getting my calculator four nine three nine three times zero point zero three one four equals times six equals nine thousand three hundred and five dollars and sixty four Cents. So, uh, you see the difference here? Look at the difference. All right. Once again, this is why I really didn't care when I bought the car what the interest rate was going to be. I just wanted the car. All right. Because I knew I was going to be able to refinance it within a month. All right. That's this is what I did. So this is the rate. I mean, this is the rate that I got. All right. And this is uh, the, the 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 total interest I'd be making in in seventy two months. This is the new rate I got, and it's already been approved. I'm approved, all right? Um, and uh, this is the total um, interest I'm gonna pay uh, over the span of seven years, okay? Now, once again, in the same way that when I bought the car back on December 9th, I didn't have any, clo I mean, I, I didn't come out of pocket. The same applies over here. So what Bank of America is doing is, they're just gonna send the check out to Toyota Finance right now, and that's that. The only thing I got to pay for is I have to now go to DMV and uh, pay, I think it's like a 30 or $40 fee for uh, uh, for like switching the lien holders. That's it. But come on, it's like 30, 40, that's, that's nothing. I mean, it's 30, 40 bucks, but 
it's it, it, compared to what I'm saving, it's nothing, all right? It, well, it's 0.5% of, of the amount, all right? So let's see how much I'm saving, right? So let's see, $17,336.94 minus $9,305.64 equals this is what I'm saving right over seven years I mean six six years okay and so it's eight thousand three hundred uh, eight thousand three dollars so uh so let, let's um uh, divide that into uh, six years is 72 months so let's divide that 72 months i'm basically so what i did was i lowered my monthly payments right so eight thousand three dollars and 13 cents divided divided by 72 equals Sorry about that. Equals one hundred eleven dollars and fifty four cents. That's coming back to me, coming back to my pocket. All right. So the reason why I wanted to go over this with you guys is because I, I want to share it. All right. This is something that anybody could do. All right. Uh, my uh, one of my recommendations would be try to uh, you know uh, work with the bank that you have. All right. Whether it's Wells Fargo or Bank of America and you know become some sort of a member where you can take advantage of these rates all right um, you know with Bank of America uh, you know, I think I, I have two bank accounts I have a credit card and I have two credit cards and I became a, a premier member I mean you know and I have good credit I, I think they checked that as well so uh, you know I, I knew that I, I, I you know was able that I was going to be able to take advantage of this and I highly encourage everybody to do the same as well, okay? Uh, uh, now, uh, uh, what I also wanted to mention was, you know, this is the way that most people, well, everybody, I believe at least, should purchase their, 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 their cars, especially if it's a new car, all right? Um, there's no need to check, uh, you know, like every single um, uh, credit agency, all right? Just check one. And also, you can tell your um um your 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 um uh your sales rep over at the at the auto dealership that you know you're going to be using financing from another bank which is really cash so that's you know when you walk in there you know say that you know that you have cash um the mistake that i made once again was that i i uh applied um uh w with the bank of america auto loan over the phone there right then and there toyota I probably should have done it the day before or a few days before that. So I would have went in with like maybe a, like a little pre-approval letter or a check, you know, saying, hey, look, you know, here's the money. OK, um, but hey, that's how you um, learn. Right. Sometimes you make mistakes and I make mistakes as well. And um, I'm sharing this with you so you don't have to make this mistake. OK, so if anybody ever needs help with this uh, or any type of assistance, please give me a call. All right, I love to talk about this stuff. I have actually helped people with, you know, purchasing uh, cars. Not too many, not hundreds or even thousands, but just one for me is 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 just great because, uh, you know, um, everybody has their goals, they have their dreams, and if I can somehow be a part of it and help them, you know, uh, fulfill that, then, you know, that's that's what I'm here for. Okay. So uh, stay tuned for the next video. If you'd like to comment below and uh, reach out to me for um, you know any questions or information. So long.